Yes, y'all. Welcome to the Lightworker Society. Thank you for tuning in. I want to say to another episode, but honey, this is not the XTY show. That's my other show that I do, um, which we basically interview and promote small businesses, entrepreneurs, creatives throughout the DMV, but that's a whole totally different story. I am going to do a twin flame reading tonight. I just wanted to at least get one recording done, but um, this is going to be about the divine masculine. So come on, divine feminines. Let's see what our divine masculines have to say tonight, what they feeling, what's on their mind, you know, wherever spirit leads us. But however, short disclaimer, don't forget that this is a collective reading, so everything in it might not resonate with you. Okay, so if you want your own personal reading, feel free to reach out to me. I am doing personal readings um, at the time, so go to my Instagram. I'll also have that link in the bio. Sorry, not in the bio, honey. I will have that link below in the description. But if you go to my Instagram um, at Lightworkers Society. The link in my bio will take you directly to the pages that you need to click on to make an appointment with me. Um, however, don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure that your minds are clear. Okay? You're in a positive mindset. You're feeling good. And even if you don't feel so great. Still be in a hopeful mindset because I hope to provide a message for you guys that will uplift your spirits, bring you some hope and clarity tonight, you know? All right, so I want to set my intentions before I get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angels, my ancestors, for helping me, for guiding me through this reading, for helping me to deliver a message that will be right on time for the right people at the right time, and it will reach them in a timely manner. Thank you for using me as to be the messenger. Also, I ask that the spiritual gates are closed to any beings or energies that are not aligned with God's perfect will. Thank you. And I have light beings helping me and supporting me at this moment. All right, you guys. I'm starting off with my Twin Flame Angels numbers deck so I can get this message. I'm going to try to make this brief because it's late. I know it's late. Y'all hear my voice cracking. I'm holding on. <laughs> I'm trying to hold on for you. For your divine feminine because I know y'all need some answers. Let's see. I got one good card. That might be enough for us to go on. But is there anything else there? The divine masculines need to put out here. Any other messages? Hmm? Okay, I, I, I wanted like one message. Two, three, maybe three. Yeah, three. But. <laughs> it's so funny when spirit does that. It. It's okay, it's all good. So the first one says, okay, so you your in, intuition, oof, let me get myself together. Your intuition is divinely guided, so trust all that you are being shown at this time. Mm, we don't get elaboration on that. Because I have this light seer deck, tarot deck that I just got, and I love it. It's just regular tarot, but the colors and, you know, the pictures on it are just so immaculate. And it has a little book, you see that? So nice. The next one says, you and your twin flame are mirroring each other. Thoughts at this present time. Step into your senses as a way of communicating with your twin flame on an intimate level. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit of that earlier today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a change in scenery may help to clear the mind. A short trip, a vacation may be helpful. Next, you do not have to compromise your own integrity to get what you want. Assert yourself accordingly. 
Did I say that word right? Progress is being made in your connection despite what you're seeing in the 3D world. You know the 3D world, our natural eye. Ugh. You'd be like, what the hell is going on? Is anything happening? All right. Don't take opinions personally. People can only understand things from their own level of perception. Learn to provide your own happiness rather than relying on your twin flame to fulfill you. Yep. And progress is being made. Oh, I read that one already. <laughs> Sorry. It's so many cards. I got so little space. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for that. So this is probably a message, you know, coming from a few divine masculines. I'm thinking that's the energies I'm picking up on because I got literally eight cards here. <laughs> eight. <laughs> so thank you, Spirit. Can you elaborate on your intuition is divinely guided? So trust all that you are being shown at this moment, this time. Thank you. Thank you for the elaboration. Thank you for hearing me clearly. Thank you for the message that you Thank you, thank you. And you and your twin flame are mirroring each other's thoughts at this present time. Can you elaborate on that one too, please? Thank you, my spiritual guides. This star, wonderful. And step into your senses as a way of communicating with your... Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Use your strength, honey. Use your strength. Sorry. Was that there? I was shimmy and like... All right. A change of scenery may help to clear the mind. Oof. Can I use that for the rest of them? Was that just for that one card? Monster, how are we rolling? What you think? You do not have to compromise. Oh, thank you. I'm talking, huh? I'm running out of space here. Don't take opinions personally. People can only understand things from that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, conflict. Mm -hmm, mm. And learn to provide your own happiness rather than relying on your twin flame. Can I bring on that one for me, please? Okay, so like this is a nice little spread here that just has has came about that I have manifested. Oof, that was a whole lot of cards too. We gonna be here all night. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said I was gonna make it short. That spirit said, "No, you ain't read in a couple of days." We're going to make up for lost time. <laughs> and progress is being made in your connection despite what you are seeing in the 3D world. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to be full of joy and gratitude right now because, you know, that's the only way to go. All right. So your intuition is divinely guided. Um, so trust all that you are being shown at the moment. The Queen of Pentacles came out for this um, for this card as basically uh, elaborating. Um, is that the word I want to use? Elaborating. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, this card is basically giving us a little bit more detail. I don't know why the word just won't come to me. I got a brain fart or something, but it's the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles basically is saying that, you know, you're, you're a healer. You know what I'm saying? As the Queen of Pentacles, you are a healer. You are a self-made person, honey. You have the abundance, the strength, the family, the community, the nurturing heart. You have all of that to be able to intuitively tune in, okay, and listen to your, um, your guidance, literally, because it's showing you what to do at this time. And it's showing you the way, especially in your twin flame journey. And Spirit is reminding you, like, you are safe, okay? You are so safe. Well, just pay attention to whatever it is that um, the signs that you're receiving. Pay attention to that. I mean, it's going to come through your dreams. It's going to come through numbers. It's going to come through just seeing feathers, coins, different types of animals. Like, last night I was dreaming about blue, um, not foxes, uh, Blue wolves, 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 wolves. How do you say it? Wolves. I can't get it out. I don't know what it is. It's late. <laughs> like I cannot get my words out. 
I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> I was dreaming about purple pigs with amethyst stones on it. And the pigs were super huge. Like they weren't little pigs, they were huge pigs. And all of the animals that I seen were like really magical and colorful and bright. And they just made us feel so like happy. We were so happy, so, so happy. And I know it was a good dream. It wasn't anything bad, but I didn't get to quite look it up um, just yet. But I know it had to be some type of sign that the divine was sending me through my dreams because these were things that stood out. They were odd. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know when the message is there because it's going to be some outlandish stuff that you're going to be like, what the hell? Purple pigs with amethyst stones? Like, where they do that at? So make sure you pay attention to your intuition and just really um, connect with life, okay? Connect with life. Connect with the people around you, your community, your family, all of that. Because that energy is, um, it will enable you to be able to tap in and be able to walk in your divine purpose, to be able to learn what it is that you need to learn from your situations. I mean, you know what it means to be the queen of pinnacles, you know? You bring self-worth and guidance to yourself, like your own love, you know? That's like a, that's, you know, it's dope. I mean, it ain't the empress, but... <laughs> I don't know. I just like the Empress. I'll be like, yes, I'm walking in my Empress said it's hot neat. Because I'll be feeling like, you know, that's just so much further. But um, the Queen of Pentacles is a really good place to be in because that just saying that you are being down to earth. You're literally grounded. You are so grounded right now. So stay connected to your higher self and stay connected to the to the divine because literally... You are so close, so close. Um, you and your twin are marrying each other. So the, the supporting cards that came off of that was the star. So we do have the star. Oh, okay. That was the only one. I thought it was more than one. But the star basically is about um, the expectations you have are being fulfilled your wishes are being granted there's opportunities in your healing from the traumatic events so this is a wonderful thing right here because you and your twin are marrying each other in this aspect and if you are marrying each other as being the star that means that your twin is definitely healing as well and they are looking at this connection as a wish granted that there's opportunities here and they're literally like coming out of their shadow selves and facing their childhood traumas and having faith in this connection and they're stepping into this path with happiness and and feeling inspired so that is a great a great thing so just expect miracles in your situation because you know how the good god says in the blink of an eye it could happen in the blink of an eye all right, God, was that confirmation? Because something just fell off of my door, honey. So, like, that was confirmation in the blink of an eye. It can happen just like that. No, I ain't startled. Because mm -mm, I trust the divine, let me tell you. I know I'm protected. Now, step into your senses as a way of communicating. The strength card came out, but it came out in reverse, right? So, what's happening here? I got to look this one up. So it's in reverse. Okay, so it's basically saying that hmm, you're allowing fear, okay? You're allowing fear to take place and you're being reminded to not operate in that dark side of your brain, but it's time to start exercising some self-control and... Um, bringing your compassion and your strength forward. So don't hide it, just be brave, okay? Be brave and embody the light that's inside of you and shine it courageously in the face of danger or uncertainty. Step into patience and fierce serenity as you exert your graceful influence for the greater good. Be who you are, okay? Step into your senses, calm your heart and your gentle demeanor will not be mistaken for weakness. And when you share your gifts of relentless love with the world, 
it comes back to you. So allow your confidence and your composure to guide you towards your desires. This card is just basically saying that you need not to suppress who you are, okay? To show who you are, be aware of that and don't hide it. Don't hide your strength because you are courageous, okay? You are a great influence. You're graceful. You're a leader. You're a gifted healer. You're um, spiritual, compassionate. And sometimes this also involves sexuality as well. Um, be who you are. Be that empress. Be the queen of pentacles. Be the high priestess, <laughs> especially when, you when it comes to your love life. <laughs> Put it on them. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Mm. So this is good. I'm really enjoying this because I see how we laid down the messages from the divine masculine, but then here spirit turns around and is really showing us with the supportive cards on what it is that the divine feminine uh, need to do and how to do it in order to push this situation or this union forward. Now, the next card that came out was a change in scenery may help, okay? So, it's something going on with the Divine Masculine because they're coming out as the Page of Cups in reverse. So, let's see what that's about. But they're coming out as the Page of Cups in reverse. Then you show up in this as the Empress. <laughs> We got it. Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. So they are, um, they the ones that really definitely need this time. <clears throat> but maybe both of you guys can take it together. Okay. Because they're kind of missing the signs and they're being overly sensitive. Maybe kind of displaying some childish emotions, blocking their creativity a little bit. So they kind of got to just like bring their childlike energy up. So that they can get out of this funk so that they're able to hear intuitively. So the change of scenery would definitely be good so that they can unblock this creative flow and to allow their emotions um, to follow them, you know. So this will definitely help them to be a little bit more silly, to stay curious about any feelings of wonder and awe that they have in, and to be a little bit more on the sensitive side. But you, honey... You are coming out as the empress. So you already embody the world. You already embody that peace and and all of that wonderful in tune and in touch with the universe and with yourself and with your divine masculine. Now, the devil card came out, but it's in reverse, right? Let me show you. Devil in reverse. So when the devil card comes out in reverse, it's really just talking about releasing releasing so there's definitely some releasing being done their divine masculine is being free from whatever addictions that they could possibly have which also could like i said it don't necessarily have to be about drugs or alcohol be about sex could be about addictions to old ways old behaviors old mindsets you know that bullshit they be going through but they're being released from that and um they're on the cusp of a breakthrough Literally, there's going to be some liberation that's going to take place. Look at God. Woo! That's because you were in your emperor status, divine feminine. So when you're in your emperor status, your twin mirrors you and y'all came out as a star. So this is why all of this is happening. And the fool came out in reverse. Oh, oh we need to get a liberation on the fool card in reverse. Spirit. Why did the fool card come out in reverse? So, mm. so this is basically talking about saying that hmm, I might be someone's being a little naive or assuming that they already have the answers, making rash or impulsive choices. Okay, so this journey really. It talks about taking like single steps, okay? So even if you find yourself on the edge of an epic journey, you have to really not dream about it, but actually take action. 
because there's a lot of magical things that are going to take place. Now, the Fool card usually talks about these new beginnings, but in this instance, it's like being a little bit more enthusiastic and turning um, turning towards your future, like literally looking at this with some type of joy and enthusiasm. So this could be coming from your divine masculine as well. It's like... Mm, that they're gonna, they need to know that they need to take this divine leap of faith in order to get this new beginning. And if they don't step out on this divine leap of faith, then they won't have this new beginning. They need to put a little bit more enthusiasm behind this, more action, more push. But they are getting there. They're getting close. Um, but there's definitely like there's magic in the air and the universe is just waiting to support the divine masculine in this with infinite love and guidance. But they just need to really just swan dive, like literally take and swan dive like, into this. It's like no more thinking about it. Universe is saying, jump right in. Take that leap of faith, okay? Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself. And if they change that scenery, they would definitely get a clear a vision of what it is that they need to do. So it's like they're, they're, they're still in that energy of juggling. Maybe got a lot of work that they're doing, they could be doing a lot of stuff. You know, sometimes that can keep your mind from being able to see clearly when you're not giving yourself that time to really take a break and just rest. Now, the next card that came out is like, you do not have to compromise on your own integrity to get what you want. The Ace of Cups card came out in, in uh, reverse. So some of you are definitely... Mm, so really, like the Ace of Cups is like, yeah, you can have everything that you want. That's in that cup, right? You can manifest these new connections, this new romantic relationship. You can do that. That's what the Ace of Cups talks about. But it's really saying that it's time to, yeah, you have to nurture yourself more. Worry about your own self-love more, okay? Make sure you aren't re um repressing your emotions and open up a little bit more to the possibilities of love because you suppressing how you really feel like are you doing that so that you i don't know maybe something could have took place between you and your divine masculine where they probably have expressed like i'm not ready i don't really want this i don't really know blah blah blah, blah. so you're kind of like holding back okay you're holding back how you really feel but just know that your emotions are powerfully magical, honey. Okay? So you need those. They will become your powerful beacon for awakening this new romance. Hmm. This is deep, you guys. This is saying that. Your capacity for love is expanding, so check in and make sure you aren't repressing your ability to connect. Don't be overly protective. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it because I know I am guilty. I do it all the time. Like Sometimes I'll just hold back because I know what was said. And I won't really fully express it because it's like, I don't feel like being in all of that chase around the energy no more, whatever. I'm just going to go with the flow. That's what I'll be doing, going with the flow. But sometimes I tend to hold back exactly how I feel. And even if I'm asked a question, it's like eh, that masculine side of me kicking like, eh, skirt, slow this down a little bit. But don't take opinions um, personally. And the Five of Wands came out. And as you can see, this card is all about conflict. So don't feel like you have to defend yourself. Because people going to say what they're going to say regardless, right? So it's your life. You live it. Okay? If you love your DM, fucking love their DM. If you are, you know, doing something that other people don't really agree about, fuck their opinion. I mean, that's just my opinion. You can say fuck my opinion too, but... I'm just telling you, this is what the cards are saying. This is the message. 
Don't worry about what other people are thinking or what other people say, whatever their opinions are, because this is not your life. People can only understand from their perception. They're not looking at it from your standpoint. It's only from what they can comprehend, from what they know. You know the inside story and you know what this situation is, right? Okay, so leave everybody else out of it, point blank. Progress is being made, okay? Even though it looks like a mess in the third dimension and it looked like oh my god i'm be single but <laughs> he ain't going never or whoever your divine masculine could be because it could be male or female because it's all about energy but even if you're like they ain't gonna never come around yeah they are coming in as the king of cups but honey they coming in as the king of cups in reverse yes yes so the king of cups in reverse let's see let me show you. It's talking about why it looks like this. Because in the 3D, they just being goddamn drama king. Sorry. They just really trying to act. It, they're putting on this front appearing that they're really withdrawn and they're not in touch with their emotions. And they're just being temperamental or whatever. They're acting like this and they're sitting up here like, mm, I'm just so tough. You know, I love you, but I'm not changing my ways. Whatever. This is how it looks in the 3D. But in the fifth dimension, honey, it's already done. That's our little secret. Let them keep thinking that, hey, shit happening. It's already done. Remember, you guys are one. You're one with your soul. Literally. All right. So they can say, do whatever they want. Whatever, honey. You, my boo. <laughs> Learn to provide your own happiness rather than relying on your twin flame. That's pretty self-explanatory, honey, because you already know. Uh, you see that? You got the world. The world then caught then came out in your reading. And that is really saying, like, everything is in balance. Everything. You have the ability to create your own happiness. You rely about you rely on what is happening in your world, not in your divine masculine's world, not in nobody else's world. Because you have completion, you have you can create the joy, the wholeness, the achievements, the happy endings, the abundance. That's what the world card talks about. That's all of that success. It's all there. The world card has shown up. It's some amazing cards here. You got Queen of Pentacles. You got the World. You got the uh, the Star card, the Empress card, the Devil card in reverse. Um, letting go, releasing. Mm. Yes, I'm about to go to church in here just for y'all. All right. So the Ten of Wands is here. Okay. So it's time for you to, you know. Pack your bags. That's what the car looked like. It looked like this chick then packed her bags, put her stuff on the back of this goddamn mule. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, and is walking away, right? So what that means? It's time to let go of some shit. Because <laughs> you're taking on too much. You're taking on too much. And the opportunity to free yourself from how to be burdens, obligations are here. Like, you don't have to do that. You you don't have to take on so much because you're going to have a successful outcome. Why? Because the world card is here once again. You got this, honey. The ace of wands. The ace of the... This look like a highly intuitive person. It's fire coming out that third eye. Fire coming out that third eye. So, hold on, honeys. Remember, 3D stuff always look funky. But it's already done because it's in the fifth dimension. Okay, so keep just the seed is already there. The potential is there. Um, the arrival is there. It's happening. It's intense. And it's like... <sighs> interconnectedness of all things the ability to manifest all of this you have the ability to manifest all of this okay your divine masculine is coming along quite well my darlings because the judgment card has come out and the judgment card really looks like 
that self-realization and understanding, that spiritual awakening, you both together have reached that spiritual enlightenment. Knowing that your motives and your heart to be true, you're totally being transparent and unveiling the spirit. Being transparent and you have probably judged others and have been judged yourself. But you are awakening to the understanding that only the only approval you need and the only one that really matters is your own. Okay, that's all that matters. Your own self-acceptance and um, you, yourself. So it's time to shed any negative beliefs, anything that is no longer serving you. Drop those fucking masks behind. Leave them because they're no longer serving you remember what it said about um tapping into your senses it's like okay connect to who you are the strength card coming in reverse you know show who you are release yourself from those things that are no longer serving you because when you do that you keep your true nature okay awakened and alive it's not hidden away from the world you're showing who you are because you are the star, you are the queen of pinnacles, and you are the empress. And when you operate in that manner, then your divine masculine also mirrors you, okay? And then you guys can evolve into this divinely ordered, powerful, loving, pure couple that you destined, that you are destined to be because it's already divinely ordered. Okay, so just keep the bigger picture in mind and remember to forgive yourself. Okay, forgive yourself. Accept your beautiful heart. As you do, you consciously answer the call of your higher self in the vastness of your horizons will make itself available to you. Now say, hello, essence. I invite you to show up every day i invite my soul to shine unapologetically i'll leave that in the details that was deep because um i won't cry i just feel emotional for you guys because this is a really good reading this is a lot of confirmation i know i'm kind of probably talking a little low but i'm sorry y'all it's late but this is a really good outcome. You guys have been doing a wonderful job. And I definitely commend you for doing what you're doing. And that means that you're going within and you're connecting with your higher self. And you're trusting the universe. You're trusting the divine to bring this relationship together. Because why you are focusing on your own true self, you're accepting you. That's all I'm going to leave you with. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, I love you guys. Peace.